You won't need a helmet, elbow pads, or a mouth guard to play this at-home version of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM, and this is Pressman's Legends of the Hidden Temple game, an at-home version of the popular 1990s Nickelodeon TV game show. But you do need to retrieve a lost treasure and successfully escape the temple, kind of like on the show. And also like on the show, you'll be competing either in teams or individually through four rounds in an attempt to make it to the temple. The game is for 4 to 12 players ages 12 and up. In the first round, the moat, you've got to cross the moat. That involves rolling a die so that it shows your team symbol. When it does, you move your team's mover one space across the game board. When you reach the other side, it's your teammate's turn to roll the die and bring the mover back. But be careful, because if you roll the symbol of the team logo to your left, that means you've fallen into the water and you must return to start. Everybody is rolling at the same time, and the first three teams to make it across the moat and back again advance to the next round. But don't worry if you don't make it. Eliminated players get to take on the role of Olmec and Kirk Fogg, the talking rockhead and host from the game show. In round two, the steps of knowledge, you must be one of the first two teams to answer two questions correctly. The questions come from the Book of Legends and are read aloud by the Olmec player. Amelia Earhart was the first woman to A, exceed the speed of sound, or B, travel across the Atlantic in an airplane. Lori? B. That's correct. Take a step forward. <laughs> The two teams who move on to round three, Temple Games, compete for Pendants of Life. There are three games to play in Temple Games. A cup flipping game called Golden Cup of Belshazzar, a ball bouncing game called Galileo's Cannonball, and a card slapping game called The Smashed Printing Plate of Frederick Douglass. This is a best two out of three scenario. The team who wins two out of three games gets to move on to round four, The Temple Run. That team then has three minutes to roll the dice to move through the temple side of the game board, retrieve the lost treasure, watch out for temple guard cards and other obstructions, put together the three card silver monkey puzzle, much easier than on the show, and exit the temple. If you remember thinking that Legends of the Hidden Temple was a fun game to watch when you were a kid, then you might enjoy playing the board game version of it as an adult. Yes, there are 13 pages of instructions, and no, it doesn't come with Olmec, but it's still a fun and less physically challenging version of the TV game show that the whole family can play together. Even for those who have never watched anyone try to assemble the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. For where to find current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more reviews every day.